Hey, welcome back to Mini Cheeses with Jesus. Open up to Psalm 103 today as we're going to walk through that together. Didn't know that there was a cheese that went all the way to the edge of the earth? Well, right here, Metz Heartland Creamery with Karst Brewery, they've got a cheese that's got an oatmeal stout inside the cheddar, and that really goes to the edge of the earth. And we're going to see how the scriptures today in Psalm 103 talk about going to the edge of the earth and removing our sins. And so let's talk about what the Lord says here in Psalm 103 and how he's interacting with our lives. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. We forget not the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit because he's blessing us. He's watching over us. He's bringing us his benefits for our lives. Wow, that's something to bless him about, praise him about, and continue to keep him at the forefront of our lives. Who forgives all of our iniquities. He's healing all of our diseases. He's redeeming our life from the pit. He's crowning us with steadfast love and mercy. He's satisfying us with his good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. Our Lord is forgiving you. He's healing you from these sicknesses that surround us and giving us that eternal life, rescuing us from the sins and the death and the, the pestilence of this earth. And he's crowning us with his love and his mercy, bringing us into eternity with him and satisfying us with all of these good gifts that he has planned for us. Then it says, this Lord will work righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. Anyone who's facing these oppressions and these difficulties in the world, it says, he's made known the ways to Moses and his acts he's made known to the people of Israel. We turn to the Old Testament. We see how our God has walked with his people through all time, and he's going to continue walking with us through this time now. But who is this Lord? The Lord is merciful and gracious. The Lord is slow to anger abounding in steadfast love. He's not chiding and he's not keeping anger forever. He doesn't deal with us according to our sins or repay us according to our iniquities. Verse 11 says, For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love who fears him. Right? That relationship of the cross, our relationship between God and us, is so great with his steadfast love. And then we look at that relationship with one another as far as east is from the west, look what the Lord has done as we've interacted with one another. He's removed our transgressions as far as the east is from the west. Like that edge of the earth cheese that went further than all other cheeses. God has removed all of our transgressions. As a father shows compassion to the children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. And right now we're sometimes in our culture for the first time seeing a new kind of fearing of the Lord fearing of all this stuff that's happening and why is God allowing this to take place as we saw these kinds of things happening in the Bible. Why are they happening again in our time? And there's a lot of fear-mongering, we call it, going on where the politicians or leaders or others are coming after one another and accusing one another and, and trying to work up fear in the media with one another. But it also is teaching us here to revere the Lord, respect him, honor him, see that he is God. And there are times in our culture where we really need to pause and do that. Why? Well, verse 14 goes into it, for he knows our frame and remembers what we were taught on Ash Wednesday. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. He flourishes like a flower in the field. The wind passes over it. It's gone and it knows its place no more. So just like those grasses that we heard about Earlier this week, we know that they're going to come and go, right? Every year we see it get brown outside and then it greens up again, right? The steadfast love of the Lord is different than those grasses. Because the steadfast love of the Lord doesn't come and go. It stays with us. It's from everlasting to everlasting, like the ends of the earth. For those who fear him and his righteousness he gives to his children's children. To those who have keep and kept his covenant, who remember his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. So bless the Lord, O you his angels, you the mighty ones who do his word. Obey the voice of the Lord's word. Bless the Lord, all the hosts of heaven, all those on the ground, all the ministers who speak the gospel, those who do his will, anyone that is out there. Bless the Lord for all his works and all his places of dominion. We take this time as a family of Christians to bless the Lord. 
O oh my soul, and don't forget all the benefits that God is giving to us.